Connor's one of the very rare people that I genuinely, I have somewhat tiny bit of sympathy for his opponent. And I'm just, I hope he's okay at the end of it. Que pra mim, cara, isso tudo na vida é passageiro, falando sério agora. Tudo é passageiro essa porra, meu irmão. Hoje eu sou campeão, amanhã vai ser outro campeão, amanhã depois vai ver outro. E tudo fica, o negro pensa que isso aqui é, é, é pra sempre. Não, isso não é pra sempre, irmão. Jose said he hasn't even seen your fight with, with Chad Mendes yet. Do you, do you believe that? Do you believe that? No. <laughs> I mean, maybe he could not see it from under his duvet. <laughs> maybe that's why his, his vision was blocked, but... He was tuned in with rosary beads in his hand, praying with a picture of Jesus on the wall, praying to Jesus Christ that Mendez would get that win. But unfortunately, Mendez was KO'd inside two rounds. When you look into a man's eyes, and you look him dead in the eye, you can see straight into his soul there, and no one else even watching can see it. It's only between you and him. And I looked into his eyes, and I knew this motherfucker doesn't want to be here. I felt when we stared down, I felt his right hand was twitching a little bit, but it was a subtle tell for me. He is, he is ready to un unload that right hand, but I feel that could be a downfall for him if he, if he lets that right hand go. I will not be there. I will create traps and dead space inside that, that octagon all over all over the place and I will walk him into it like a zombie. That is what I plan to do with Jose. I plan to set him up, trap him, lead him into dead space, lead him where he feels he is safe, but all of a sudden it's a trap and he is in big danger. So that's how I feel I will play with the fight. It's gonna be a beautiful thing to see. I shook his hand, I embraced him, I gave him a little cuddle, I told him everything's gonna be a-okay. It will be over before you know it. Just please show up December 12th. So I, I don't want to scare him anymore, he's petrified, he went running before. So now I'm gonna take the opposite approach, cuddle him, look after him, whisper sweet nothings, tell him it's gonna be alright, it will be over quick. And hopefully get him, in, get him into that octagon December 12th, and then end his career. I'm going up against supposedly D pound for pound number one, and he's groveling at my feet, begging for mercy. Jose is quaking in his boots, and he's top, supposedly top of the pound for pound list. Judas Lipovich, fighting out of the blue corner. I'm Nick Marcellanis, holding a professional record. 18 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. I'm entering this contest heavily favored in my mind and he is entering this contest as a big underdog in his mind the notorious connor mcgregor so i'm not just gonna be jose i'm gonna embarrass jose in there have anything you want, if you want it badly enough. You can be anything you want to be, do anything you set out to accomplish if you hold to that desire with singleness of purpose.